right, welcome to your dowel rod split squat. Okay, check me out. You should already have your piece of PVC pipe. If you don't have one, um, you can use a broomstick or something like that. I'm sure Jim probably has something like this laying around. If you're working from home, broomstick would be fine. But um, this is going to be if you're if you're seeing this exercise, this is going to be something that you're doing for a while. And the four foot piece of PVC pipe uh, from Home Depot is going to be a couple dollars, um, and this is a, a huge benefit to uh, be working with um, if you have this exercise. So um, I'd recommend getting one. So we're going to start off with a split squat. And the split squat is a unilateral exercise um, where we're taking a stance, an offset, so we're, our, our balance is being challenged. We want to think about standing on a tightrope, right? We don't want to be out super wide in like a weird sideways squat. So what we want to do is sit back on that back leg fire that glute, okay? This is gonna help you create stability and balance. You're gonna have your dowel rod and the offset hand of the lead foot. So if your left foot is forward, your dowel rod's gonna be placed where your other foot would be. So if you're curious of where that will be, take your normal squat stance, put the dowel rod right next to your pinky toe, and then step back into that offset unilateral position, okay? Where you're walking that tightrope. Then all you're gonna do is keep your chest up, keep some weight right here, and you're just going to split the hips open, flex the knees in the front, and the knees in the back, keeping that glute really, really tight so we open up the hips, okay? And then when you come up, this is where the dowel rod is going to be of assistance to you, okay? Because we don't want to rock forward and come up, okay? We want to try to maintain the integrity of the movement by making sure our back is straight, right? Our hips are nice and open. And when I come up, I'm going to apply a force down with this foot and back with my back foot, okay? And then a little bit of pressure down right here, and then come straight up, and then back down, boom. And then back up, and then back down, up. Okay, and as you progress through the next few weeks, we're gonna start challenging your ability to maintain that balance without the dowel rod, okay? But using this, if you can't quite get the full range split squat yet, that's okay. This is going to be our tool that we're going to use to get us through the subsequent weeks so we can do a full range split squat and receive the benefits of having healthy hips and a low back. Right? Okay. Well, look, that's the end of that. So y'all have a great day.